I think next year will be a very important year for how capital markets use blockchain infrastructure for a few reasons. The first one is that they now have dedicated digital asset teams. I know certain banks and asset managers, they have over 100 people in those digital asset teams, and they have a mandate and a budget. So there's a lot of people now pushing for outcomes within banks to see their digital asset kind of people investment and technical investment go to the next level. And this year, uh, this coming year is the year where I feel that a lot of those teams will be doing things in both uh, pilot and moving towards production. The other thing is that the clients continue to make these requests of banks and asset managers, and there's demand from their clients, which is what we said before would be the main driver. That, that main driver has now essentially formed into dedicated teams. Those dedicated teams are now not only servicing the demand of existing clients, but they're trying to increase the amount of clients interested in digital assets. So I think this coming year is the year where you really see this virtuous cycle take hold of people starting to do on-chain transactions as banks. Um, the pilot version will be cross-chain transactions and the production ver version will be transactions within the bank itself for various cash management things. And then I think that'll create a very good foundation for 2025 where we will see larger volumes in production, at least that's my expectation.